Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. So for now I'm making a small break from the PTS and I'm playing with Commander Sulla and his light artillery. As usually I play sword infantry and light artillery combined. That is to defend myself. And I also use stakes in this current situation, although I could switch to caltrops as well. I'm sending my light artillery forward just to set up the stakes. I want to create a situation where the stakes can pay off. I could just build them around myself to defend, but that would just delay the opponents. I also want to create uh, something that can weaken the opponents before they get to me. This was actually a risky move. If those players would have been cavalrys, they could have taken down one of my light artillerys, if not both. But I did succeed with building the stakes. As the opponents are moving towards me, I have to pull back, because I am the only infantry here. I'm already guessing that they're moving through the bushes. I just can't defend myself out here, so I'm moving to a location that is better for me to defend at. As you see here as well, some cavalry has uh, snuck by me, going after our heavy artillery. Because the opponents are actually rather close by, I can't support them. Ooh, the stakes paid out a little. So, because those infantries aren't actually spreading, and I do have slight time here, I'm trying to support the catapults the best I can. The only reason I deployed myself here was because there were three cavalry units, so the damage I inflicted was rather reasonable. What makes light artillery units great is the fast deployment and high mobility. So, I can deploy myself in a matter of second or two seconds and undeploy as fast. Although there is one problem with the deployment, that is, when I set my unit to deploy, and it will take them a second or two of standing still before they will start deploying the light artilleries. As you see it right there, he was standing still for a second before he started building it. And the second unit as well, he was standing still for a moment before he started building it. I'm also building stakes in front of my light artilleries. And well, so original, players using uh, Testudo to avoid light artillery fire, well... That doesn't seem to work. And I was actually surprised that he switched here. I would have expected him to try go around the stakes or just come through them. But not to switch targets. I'm gonna jump slightly ahead where there is a bit more action. This is about one minute later and they're trying to come here once again. But this time the barbarian units. So I do try to set up my light artilleries. I slightly mess up. But I still inflict some damage and I need to unpack them and move them away. Although the cavalry slightly helps me here, I still need to switch in my melee infantry. Otherwise the barbarian units will catch up with us and I just can't outrun them. Well maybe the light artillery can but I'm not so sure about the sword infantry. If they could it would still be a really tight call. I was actually hoping to go into the offense with my light artillery but I did end up going to defense. So just to make myself a safe position, at least until my infantry catches up, I'm going into the grass and building up the stakes. The main focus is to build them up on two sides. I know there is cavalry, and I just want to make sure this side is covered first. I did plan to build it on the third side as well, but it's on the cooldown and catapults are moving here as well. The sword infantry is doing rather well, although I would have preferred them to defend my light artilleries. This is actually interesting to see. The catapults are running, there is cavalry behind them. For a moment here, I'm thinking this is it and I'm going to focus the cavalry as much as I can. But it appears I'm getting a little helping hand from the Alexander. These cavalry actually aren't the only ones coming after us. There is uh, slight units of sword infantry pushing through our base. But fortunately they are scared away easily by the stakes that are deployed in the high grass. I'm also trying to build up the light artillery to do as much damage as possible against those swordsmen. I think they found the stakes and well are receiving light artillery fire. I'm quite sure these are the same sword infantry that tried to mess with me near my first choke point. But they don't seem to be very smart. This next battle might be slightly a bit more intense. 
Here, at first I'm trying to go for the mid, as it is the best opened area where I can use my light artilleries. I'm playing the same combo of two light artilleries and one swordsman. I do manage to do a little damage, but unfortunately most of their infantry will stay closely out of my range. Although I do manage to inflict a slight damage to those spearmen, they will still be pulling back once they realize what is going on. In a few seconds there is actually a moment where I realize that I have a dedicated target and I need to reposition myself pulling back and focusing it down. Yes, it is the elephant. They seem to be using the elephant as a battering ram and we have to take it down. Actually I'm quite sure the swordsman could take it down, but uh, well, I'm still going to support them because everyone knows elephant is not a good target to engage. Well, at least not with the infantry. As the light artillery is meant to be one of its counters, it actually doesn't inflict that much damage upon the elephant. Although it seems to slow it quite decently. The main damage done to the elephants right now was done by the stakes. So, as you see, the light pile and the light artillery bolts are actually slowing it down. And I do not know why he did that, but okay. As we do not inflict much damage upon it, we still slow it quite decently. The pikes also scared it away, and now we're just gonna take it down. Although many say this is the right target for the light artillery, I have to disagree. The formed infantries are so much better targets, light artillery can weaken them a lot more and a lot faster. But if any elephants do get into the range of the light artillery, the light artillery should probably focus them, because elephants can be damaged even when they're engaged with friendly units. Well, all opponents can be damaged when they're engaged, but elephants are just so much higher than all other units. You might still do some friendly fire to the engaged infantries, but usually the bolts will hit a bit higher and won't damage so much of your friendlies. Here is actually another problem. Everyone else is going down by the road. And I am pretty much the only one heading to defend the base. Okay, there is an elephant defending it, but yes, I'm the pretty much only infantry heading for the base. I did ask help from those who went uh, down by the road with uh, so many units, but no one seemed to answer. So as I do want to damage the infantries, I still have to be careful because there are cavalrys and well many other units moving in. Although I am trying to build myself up so that I could shoot over the walls of my base, I also have to build defenses. Because if I don't have any defenses here, I could easily be overrun practically with uh, just cavalry. Although I will be fortifying this place, it will still be hard for me to defend with just a single unit of melee infantry, especially since those spearmen didn't want to come to my aid. I am trying to damage these infantry here, but I'm pretty sure the elephant could handle it. I do have to reposition myself, because I'm actually trying to hit the cavalry, but I just can't. The deal with the light artillery is that they can shoot over the walls. They won't shoot like a, in a straight line, they're gonna shoot with a small curve and so the bolts can fly over small buildings. At this point I'm thinking, oh, the spearmen are smart, they're coming to defend me, they're coming to my aid. But guess what? They're not. They're heading towards the base. And so, now that there are infantry moving towards me, or at least in front of the base, I have to build up even more stakes. Because I'm afraid they might realize I will be the easiest target, and so they actually do. Although cavalry helps me finish off the swordsmen, I think they're cartridge swordsmen here, I still have to be very careful. I can build the stakes just to cover my units, just to cover my retreat, but I still have to be very careful because of those cavalry moving deep inside and behind my base. I can't build another stakes here because the deployment of the stakes is on cooldown. I actually am hoping to sneak out from here, but well, the cavalry kinda ruins that plan for me. And so I have the second best idea to move them inside my engaged melee infantry. I cannot escape it, but I might just survive long enough to reposition myself. 
I do manage to finish off these guys pretty much in the nick of time before I turn towards Germanicus. My light artillery took minimal damage and well, since this is Germanicus, I also do need to disengage with my infantry. I cannot fight this fight, otherwise I would just lose. So it's time for me to run. I do not have many infantry units alive, but I do have the light artilleries. So my second best option is to head towards another bottleneck. And it appears that the Germanicus is going after me with his full force. Although I am escaping, I still have to be very careful. Germanicus is even using his charge to get after me, but he doesn't do much. I re-engage him and I actually for a moment had an idea that I'm going to build the stakes around this place just to block off the cavalrys and other infantries. But few moments later I realized that I can't finish off these guys and I just can't uh, fight those infantries. Although I do finish one of the stakes and for a moment think about rebuilding the other ones as well, I still think that this is a bad choice and I need to disengage. So I'm moving back towards my original idea. Escaping to the bottleneck and holding it while I try to inflict as much damage as possible I'm also pulling back the sword infantry. They will be the ones covering this bottleneck. So now one of my main focuses is just to seal off this small bottleneck, move back my light artilleries, and hopefully I can buy enough time for my units to set themselves up behind this line. I have already accepted that my sword infantry is going to die, but on the cost of that I'm hopefully killing Germanicus as well. Although I do have hard time setting myself up behind here, I will still manage before they push through. So my infantry is just about dead and my light artilleries are just about deployed. And I'm using this uh, situation here to sacrifice one unit to kill off three units. As it is painful to see I'm inflicting friendly fire, it is a lot more painful for the Germanicus who was trying to chase after me. Although I lost my unit, I am still going to destroy this Germanicus. The problems with light artillery are that even if you're useful, you do not get that much score. Even if you do everything really well, your score will usually be mediocre. There is an exception if you decap a lot, of course. But compared to other commanders like Germanicus or Leonidas, your score will still be somewhat mediocre. The other big problem is that there needs to be a dedicated defender. If you're left alone with nobody defending you, you're an easy target for the cavalry. Although you can use caltrops to slow them down, it might not always help you. This is also the reason why I play sword infantry. Sword infantry I can use to defend myself and uh, stakes I can build them up to seal off my sides or anything other that I fear might be exposed. Of course, with the 3rd Light Artillery you could do so much more damage, but what is the use if no one is defending you? So, by my opinion, Sulla is the best commander for the Light Artillery. Caesar can pull it off, but Sulla's whip just seems to give you enough speed to be really mobile and agile. I do play usually Sulla with the full infantry, but if I should ever pick a Light Artillery commander, it would definitely be Commander Sulla. Well, this was pretty much it. Light artillery can be hard to learn for new players because it has its uh, own special playstyle and you might not get as incredible scores as you do get with some other commanders. But once you get the hang of it, light artillery can be one of the more incredible units in the game. You can do extremely well or you might not do anything at all. So this was it about Sulla and the light artillery. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.